Color party, halt. Color party, advance, left, turn. Oh, Canada, our home. Good afternoon, everyone, and I'm honoured to be here on behalf of Prime Minister Harper and the Government of Canada. And of course, what we're doing today is celebrating two very important uh, occasions, and one is the 50th anniversary of 266 of the Legion here in Vailmount. And legions across this country, including the one here in Vailmount, have a hugely incredible, important role. And it's, of course, a role that we all know is many-fold. It's a place that people can come, enjoy, and meet, and it's an intimate part of the community. It's a group that advocates tirelessly for the needs of the soldiers and the men and women in uniform that have served this country, whether it be Second World War veterans, whether it be Korean War veterans, or whether it be Afghanistan. And they recognize the sacrifices, and they ensure that people from across this country, both young and old, continue to remember the very important sacrifices that were made, again, by our men and women in uniform. So congratulations to Vailmount on their 50th anniversary. It is one of the legions. I love the museum up top. I always talk to people, if you're ever in this area, you must see the museum. It is an incredible place that you have here. The other thing, of course, is it's very fitting um, to have this howitzer here and the dedication in terms of the horrific uh, train wreck at Canoe River. And of course, that was 63 years ago. But of course, we are also celebrating the 60th anniversary of the Korean War. And as the people here know better than anyone, what sacrifice and what a horrific incident that was in terms of our people doing their duty and losing 17 soldiers, losing their life in that horrific incident. So again, a part of Canadian history that we must not forget. So I would like to again thank you on behalf of the Government of Canada. People are so proud of our men and women in uniform and we know as we look at what's happening in the Middle East that they are always there if things are fragile, we are always there and Canada is recognized across the world for its bravery, its dedication and its uh, contribution to world peace. So thank you. Well, I would ask uh, the Honourable Shirley Bond. Member of Legislative Assembly for Prince George Vailmouth, please. 
Good afternoon to uh, our veterans that are here on parade today. We want to begin by expressing our heartfelt gratitude for the service that you have provided and continue to provide to our country. We want to thank our first responders, our CMP members and others who are here joining in parade today. We also appreciate uh, the work that you do on behalf of British Columbians. I'm delighted to be here today on behalf of the province of British Columbia. And it is fitting that we pause uh, during our busy lives to say thank you and to remember. And, you know, we as we stand, and it's chilly, and it's a bit rainy, nothing compares to what happened that day when soldiers who had decided to serve their country lost their lives before they even reached the field of battle. And it is so appropriate that the members of uh, the Legion here in Vale Mount continue to keep the memories of those soldiers alive. And we are grateful for that. And I know there are members of their family, some of those people who, some of those soldiers uh, who were on that train that day here with us, and we are grateful for their effort to be here with us. I'm always deeply humbled recognizing that I live in a country where people gave their lives so that my family, my children and my grandchildren can grow up in a world that is uh, reflected by freedom and democracy and we are truly grateful. So today as we remember those who were lost, not just in that horrific accident, but those who have been lost in the field of battle, those who serve us today in places around the world, we give thanks and we pause to remember. We also want to thank our special guests from Petawawa today for making the effort uh, to represent the men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces. And I know that um, all of us here want to express our deepest gratitude for your willingness to serve your country and each one of us. Thank you for making that effort. We will remember them. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as introduced, my name is Captain Andrew Snow, and the gentleman to my uh, right is Warrant Officer Jason Colleen. Uh, we're both uh, serving members from the 2nd Regiment, uh, Royal Canadian Horse Artillery in Petawawa. Uh, first and foremost, on behalf of the uh, Commanding Officer uh, left, of 2RCHA, Lieutenant Colonel Dan Bobbitt, and the Regimental Sergeant Major, Chief Warrant Officer Garth Hoagie, who unfortunately couldn't make it here today and truly wish they could have been, uh, I would like to express our gratitude uh, for having been invited to come and attend such a special event. Uh, both uh, Warren Colleen and I are truly privileged and honoured to be here uh, to take part in this ceremony. The 21st of November marks a very significant date in 2RCHA's history. Having been a newly formed regiment at the time, the Canoe River tragedy represents the first true hardship that the soldiers and leadership of 2RCHA would face as a unit. 17 soldiers were lost, 42 injured, and despite having faced such adversity, the soldiers would carry on as the true professionals that they were trained to be, and they would go on and serve on a successful deployment to Korea. It is for that that yearly, regardless of where we are, on the 21st of November, we take the time to remember and pay homage to these soldiers. During this time, we also take the time to remember the response and the rescue efforts put forth by the citizens of Elmont uh, during this tragedy. And it's for that that it's truly fitting that a, mo uh, a monument uh, be placed here in this, uh, in this town. Thank you very much. Today, we come together to celebrate the fifth anniversary of the Belmont Legion and to present a cenotaph howitzer in memory of Royal Canadian Horses Artillery Gunners and CN trainmen who perished 
at the Canoe River on World to Korea War. On behalf of Korean community in Canada, it is my great honor to lay a wreath and deliver a thank you for those sacrifices, especially CN train men and those 17 gunners, their bravery, sacrifice for defending democracy and freedom and peace for Korea. Your sacrifice will not in vain, it will be remain Korean's heart forever. Thank you. Uh, it's not in written here. I like to want mention that uh, in 2010, I wrote the story of Canoe River uh, train wrecks and then send it to the Korean um, War Memorial Foundation. They recognize for those sacrifice after 60 years. And then they published 10 million copies of Korean newspaper to the, in Korea. So the Korean people all remember your sacrifice and then thank you for you, those sacrifice in forever. Thank you. And a read from Joshua chapter four, verses one through nine this afternoon. When the whole nation had finished crossing the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, choose 12 men from among the people, one from each tribe, and tell them to take up 12 stones from the middle of the Jordan, from right where the priests are standing, and carry them over and put them down at the place where you stay tonight. So Joshua called together 12 men that he had appointed from the Israelites, one from each tribe, and said to them, go over before the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan. Each of you is to take up a stone on his shoulder according to the number of tribes of Israelites, to serve as a sign among you. In the future, when your children ask, what do these stones mean? You can tell them that the flow of the Jordan was cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of God. When it crossed the Jordan, the, water of the, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. These stones are to be a memorial to the people of Israel forever. So the Israelites did as Joshua commanded. They took 12 stones from the middle of the Jordan, according to the number of tribes of the Israelites, as the Lord had told Joshua. And they carried them over, with them to their camp where they put them down. And Joshua set up the 12 stones that had been in the middle of the Jordan at the spot where the priests who carried the Ark of the Covenant stood. And they are there to this day. <laughs> Grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We're going to place some wreaths for the in memory of the gunners and the engineers who died 63 years ago. For the government of British Columbia, 
Member of Legislative Assembly for Prince George, Vermont, the Honorable Sir Bond. In memory of Gunner Basil Patrick McKillen. In memory of Gunner Albert William Orr. Korea War Veterans Association. The members of this Legion branch dedicate this howitzer in the immortal memory of our comrades and CN trainmen who lost their lives 63 years ago. We're thankful for them. We're thankful the rain quit, and we're thankful there was just a short train, but it wouldn't be a service without a train.
Pete, why are we here today? Uh, today was uh, kind of a two-part uh, day. Uh, this afternoon, ceremony and parade was to dedicate the uh, the howitzer to the cenotaph for the uh, Korean uh, veterans from that were killed uh, in the Canoe River uh, train disaster in 1950. Uh, so this afternoon, ceremony was to dedicate the gun for that, and then tonight's dinner is uh, for our 50th anniversary of our branch uh, here in Vailmont. And there were a lot of dignitaries here today. Can you mention a few of them? Sure. Yeah, we. Uh, uh, actually, uh, Comrade Terry Damon was the organizer, and uh, we've been emailing and really uh, pounding the phones to get people. So we had uh, Shirley Bond, our MLA for uh, uh, Prince George Valmont here. Uh, she was able to squeeze us into her schedule. Uh, Kathy McLeod, um, Member of Parliament um, for Tom Kamloops, Thompson Caribou uh, District, I was here. Uh, we had uh, Dallas Bullock, uh, councillor for the village representing uh, Dong Han, um, a Korean uh, gentleman from Jasper who is a huge supporter and uh, of, of our legion and uh, he's very passionate about um, our role um, uh, for the, in the Korean War. Uh, we have a group of I can't remember their total number from the Korean War Vets Association out of Edmonton uh, that came out for it and we had uh, Captain Snow and Warrant Officer Colleen from uh, the two Second Division Royal Canadian Horse Artillery out of Camp Petawawa uh, representing uh, the artillery and then our uh, Rocky, Mountain, Rocky Mountain Ranger Cadet Corps from Prince George uh, headed by uh, Captain Wally McHugh. So, yeah, we had a, a great turnout. Oh, what a fantastic tur turnout. And I, I should also mention the parade was earlier. We did a parade on the way down, and then uh, just a wonderful presentation, and uh, uh, wreaths were laid on behalf of, uh, of the victims of the uh, rain train disaster. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we laid one reach, uh, wreath, one for, uh, uh, in behalf of Canada, one for the province, and then one for each of the victims of the train wreck. So there was 17 artillerymen uh, were killed in the crash and four train crew. Uh, so we laid a wreath for, for each of them. I understand uh, there were no uh, uh, relatives of survivors from the, uh, the military side, but there were a couple from the trainmen side. That's correct, yeah. We had, uh, I, I believe it was the wife of, of the one train crew and daughter of the one train crew that were here. Um, I'm not, I can't remember exact details on them, but um, so yeah, and I mean, unfortunately, there aren't many survivors uh, left. Uh, we had in 2010 when we did the, uh, the anniversary, uh, James Glasgow Henderson from Ontario was out and he sent his regrets. I mean, he would have loved to have been here, but uh, he's starting to get up there and to travel is, is a little difficult for him, so. Still a wonderful turnout today. Oh yeah, it was great. and. You know, and a lot of people, um, our piper, Sheldon Clare from Prince George, came out just for the afternoon ceremony, he has to drive right back to Prince George. Uh, so he gave up, uh, you know, part of his day. Shirley Bond's the same thing. She's leaving directly from here to go to and do a speech in Prince George. And so, you know, we uh, really appreciate everybody's, you know, kind of squeezing us into their schedules. So, Can you talk a little bit about uh, how the howitzer came to Velma? Um, actually, Comrade Les Damon uh, was the driving force about it. He was the president at the time and um, started canvassing um, the military to see if there was any ordinance available. Uh, this isn't actually Korean War vintage. This is a little bit newer. We were looking for a, uh, um, the actual thing, but this is what's surplus now. And so it took uh, probably two years of paperwork to finally get it. And uh, so we got possession of it last fall and uh, they decommissioned it and made it inoperable and stored it in, in Edmonton for us and then we brought it out this spring and got her set up on the uh, on the cenotaph so well, it's a beautiful beautiful arrangement it's a very nice uh, cenotaph you have here now yeah we're very proud I mean you know and, and we're luckily we're able to partake of grant money to help with the expenses and uh, you know veterans affairs 
provide some grant money for cenotaph upgrades and stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, it's, there's a lot of expense, there's a lot of people's time involved, but it makes for a, a pretty nice, nice finish. So. Well, it's also the 50th anniversary of uh, Branch 266. You want to uh, talk about the activities today, tonight? Yeah, that's correct. Um, yeah, it's our 50th year as a branch. Um, started in 1963 here, and I mean, there's lots of stories uh, on how, how it all came about. But uh, yeah, so tonight there's an in invitation and only dinner um, to celebrate. So we'll, you know, there'll be a few more speeches and mostly um, the dinner is, is to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the branch, but it's also a veterans dinner, <coughs> excuse me, that, uh, you know, honors the veterans that we have in the community. Um, so there'll be several of them here tonight. I mean, Alfie Burstrom is a Korean War veteran and we were honored for him to come out today. Um, so yeah, so it's just you know going to be a celebration dinner for the for the 50 years of the branch. Well, Legion, everyone knows that uh, legions are challenged these days in terms of membership. I mean, obviously you uh, you have uh, veterans that are passing, and and it's more and more difficult. Is there anything you would tell people about uh, the legion today? Well, and, and you're exactly right. I mean, uh, we're we're into a new generation of legion because, as you say, the the veterans are passing away. I mean, we have. I think we have approximately 12 veterans left in the in the community as far as like World War II and Korean War veterans and stuff like that. There are several veterans in town, I mean, of a younger generation that people don't always associate with being veterans. So, I mean, we just want to people know that we're a service organization. I mean, our prime, prime goal is to support veterans and their families uh, with assistance uh, if they, anything they need is to get, you know, through their day. Um, but we also help all the seniors um, and other organizations that cater to that that group in town and and you know we're not just a drinking establishment we're a, a service organization all our money raised pays our bills and then goes into the community in donations so um, you know they've expanded the uh, membership rules so anybody can pretty much become a member and uh, come in and uh, take part and hopefully volunteer and help us out. No, I just want to thank the uh, community for their support. Uh, there was a lot of people on the street today for the parade and actually a lot of people, I mean, with the rain and everything, we had a really good turnout here for the ceremony and uh, yeah, we just really appreciate their support. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Corporal Eric Maglin, 4th Canadian Ranger Patrol Group.